In labor economics, the efficiency wage hypothesis argues that wages, at least in some markets, form in a way that is not market clearing. Specifically, it points to the incentive for managers to pay their employees more than the market clearing wage in order to increase their productivity or efficiency or reduce costs associated with turnover in industries where the costs of replacing labor are high. This increased labor productivity and or decreased costs pay for the higher wages. Because workers are paid more than the equilibrium wage, there may be unemployment. Efficiency wages offer, therefore, a market failure explanation of unemployment, in contrast to theories that emphasize government intervention such as minimum wages. One however, efficiency wages do not necessarily imply unemployment, but only uncleared markets and job rationing in those markets. There may be full employment in the economy, and yet efficiency wages may prevail in some occupations. In this case there will be excess supply for those occupations, but some applicants are not hired and have to work for a probably lower wage elsewhere. The term efficiency wages or other efficiency earnings has been introduced by Alfred Marshall to denote the wage per efficiency unit of labor to Marshallian efficiency wages would make employers pay different wages to workers who are of different efficiency such that the employer would be indifferent between more efficient workers and less efficient workers. The modern use of the term is quite different and refers to the idea that higher wages may increase the efficiency of the workers by various channels, making it worthwhile for the employers to offer wages that exceed a market clearing level.